here's a quick video to teach you how to use my draft tool for your battle right games first off this is the url you're going to want to use it's battleridedraft.com you click enter it will bring you to this screen now most of the time when you're creating a draft you won't even need to touch any of these settings here you will just need draft name map blue team name and red team name so draft name say you're playing my newest tournament you will go mako combat league and choose the map that you already drafted through other means or are informed to play uh, let's say it's dragon knight and you input the name for a team uh, say your name is bears and the other team is tigers that's really all you need to do before you create now these here are just um, time limit for each phase of band pick um, this goes up to 100 but zero just means unlimited like it says here um, this is the delay period between voting um, so you don't need to touch this three is perfectly fine you never have to touch this so let's do create now if your game is not spectated or refereed in any sort of way you will never need this admin link you will only need blue team captain link which is the link for the blue captain to input their draft decisions and the rat captain link which is the same thing for the rat captain and the result link which is for everybody else who wants to view the draft so say you are the blue team captain and you just created this whole draft um, you are going to keep this blue link for yourself so this is your blue captain link and you need to send this red captain link to the enemy team captain now you will do copy link address and send it to the red team captain now one thing to note though it says right here only one link for each captain can be active at the same time so say if you are sending this link to the rat captain don't do this don't click it open and copy this and send it to the rat captain and forget to actually close this because then sometimes it causes bugs that the rat captain's link just won't work um, so just be careful of it this result link is just to and this is how it looks th this has no input whatsoever this is just for people who wants to see the draft as it's going real time so let's do a side by side let's pretend that we have a red team captain and a blue team captain now they will each have a link like this uh, this is the blue captain this is the red captain um, you still have the option to send the view link from here so if you forgot to do it um, you can do it here you can click this and you can send this link to other people okay so now if both team captains are ready you can enter the draft so let's say i ban freya they ban blossom and you can see it immediately on your screen uh, and yeah in the view link this is what everyone else will see is that just the updated results so yeah all is fine and dandy one thing to note though um the draft rules are not actually enforced in the draft tool um, we're cheap devs uh, we don't have time and money to fix all of these bugs it's just you know this was made quickly so unfortunately that's just part of the deal um so say if they ban Blossom, you're not supposed to be able to pick Blossom according to the rules, but the draft tool allows it anyway. So don't do that. Um, be careful of it and just be mindful. If you accidentally pick something that is illegal to pick, we actually have rules written for what happens when you have a botched pick. But I don't want to do that. I don't want anybody to go through that kind of, you know, a frustrating rule. So just don't do it. Um, that being said, you can still pick Freya after you ban it because obviously, you know, bans are only for the opposing team, so you can pick it and they can still pick Blossom. And you move on with the draft. Um, so the order is obviously ban first and then two picks and then another ban and finalize with one pick. One other thing I forgot to mention, if your game is not actually spectated or refereed in any way, this needs to be disconnected at all times. You can see this. Um, obviously the captain should be connected because they're drafting but admin should be disconnected so if your games are not streamed or uh, refereed uh, just make sure that's the case if your game is actually refereed then sometimes this will say connected okay so let's just uh, finish the draft I will go Shen Rao and it will go uh, Jade Okay, and now you're done with the draft, and this will be the lineup you have going into the game. Um, if you feel like the other team is abusing the draft, you can always just uh, get a screenshot, like right now here, and send it to the admin, 
um, if they have a illegal pick or a botched pick or some something like that um, we will figure it out try to stop the draft and you know contact admin as soon as possible though don't wait for the draft to be finished and do it that's a lot harder to deal with now the draft will finalize in the view link like this everybody will be able to see it and you can continue your game and that's how you use the draft tool all right i just want to add one last thing real quick and if you're a team captain you don't need to be watching this part at all um this is for admins if you're doing this as an admin you're doing exactly all the same thing first you know input all the names and choose the right map you have this admin link available to you now this admin link has some special functionality say if they are drafting let me just create a draft real quick and use the same example we'll ban freya here and they will ban blossom um now what this admin link allows you to do is you have a pause vote and reset time option and also the override vote option what it means is um, you can actually catch illegal votes or illegal picks in real time and fix it according to the rules. Now, um, in Mako Combat League, we have a specific way of dealing with this and I can show you real quick. So say if the team now picks a illegal pick like Blossom and they pick something normal. So now we have an illegal pick here. You as the admin can now pause vote and figure out what to do. Now, according to the Mako Combat rule set, the red team now gets an additional ban um, right now. So the red team can say, okay, we want to ban another support. Let's say they ban Pestilus. So now they have to, blue team has to tell you what they choose based on the new two bans that they have, the Blossom and the Pestilus. So they only have the rest of the heroes to choose from. Say they now choose Poloma. Um, they tell you they're gonna choose that and you're going to override it here and everybody will see it immediately and the draft is updated and you can move on just don't forget to unpause vote here so how you use that is completely up to you the functionality is there hopefully the teams will avoid that i've only had to use this option twice in the like 14 tournaments i've done so hopefully that helps